how to structure a math paper. So the good news is that math papers are usually very formulaic in their structure, and it is a good thing to follow this sort of formulaic structure to it because when we are reading math papers, we are hoping for these sort of structure, these basic structure, so we know where to find things in a paper. Papers that deviate too much from this format are hard to read. So stick to these sections. First, you want a short but informative title, and then an abstract that is also short and concise and to the point, some three, four sentences that explain what you are proving in this paper. And in the introduction, you're going to motivate the point of your paper, what's the area of the paper, and why is this interesting. This includes references to other uh, papers in the literature that are about this topic, and then state your main theorem. You should introduce your main theorem in like the first couple pages of your paper. There should be a clearly stated theorem. In section two, you're going to discuss in more detail prior results, usually by other people, results in the literature, but these are results that you're going to use in the uh, following sections, in particular that you're going to use in the proofs of the main theorems. In section three, you uh, write lemmas and propositions, uh, things that are sort of like uh, you're in preparation to prove the main theorem, but you, you can offload to uh, this section so that in section four, you discuss the proof of the main theorem in a very straightforward, a straightforward way so that it is clear what's the argument that proves your main theorem, assuming the little lemmas that you've proved uh, ahead of time. Finally, I suggest you include a table, a tables or examples in a separate section at the end of the paper, but you can also not have that section and instead pepper the entire paper with examples that help understand what the theorems say or how you use the theorems to prove or to um, show other things uh, that are corollaries of your own theorem. And finally, of course, a full bibliography uh, with full bibliographic information of all the papers that you've uh, cited and used in the sections of your paper. For example, here's a paper of mine uh, with a collaborator. Uh, here's the title, the abstract, and then an introduction where we introduce the problem and what other people have done in that same area. And then right away in the second page of the introduction, we state our main theorem, also some corollary, something that came out of the proof of the main theorem that we thought was interesting, and also some secondary main theorem. Uh, at the end of the introduction, we acknowledge all those that have helped us in proving these, uh, these results, and always we be kind and generous and include as many people that have helped you in writing this paper. In the prior uh, literature section, we cite papers and uh, results explicitly and in detail, results that we are going to use in our uh, theorems. This is a couple pages of prior results. And then we start with our preliminary results, so our lemmas and propositions that we're going to use uh, later on. In, uh, we actually have two sections of proofs. Uh, in section four, uh, here we prove the secondary uh, main theorem, that theorem uh, 1.3, I believe it was. Uh, that's where that proof is in here. And then in section five is the proof of the main theorem, theorem 1.1. And uh, it, it takes quite a few pages to uh, prove that theorem, but it is all in there. And then at the end, we have a section, uh, section seven, some appendix with tables of data and tables of examples of things that exemplify our theorems. And we thought it was useful for people to have examples of uh, each kind of the things we say uh, there exist. And finally, of course, a full bibliography with all the papers that we've uh, cited in our own article.